Well, welcome back into the studio. Today I am going to be working on a background. Um, and this technique is I'm just playing to kind of discover what I can do using the Distress Oxides, the Distress Stains, and Paper Artsy's Infusions together. So now I've got this acrylic plate um, that I pulled out of a bin someplace and thought it would make for um, good arting on. And I have been using it a lot for this technique of putting down some distress stains or distress oxide sprays and dipping paper into it. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, so I've added the brush corduroy in the distress stain as well as in the oxide spray. Now I've added some water to that and I am just dipping this piece of a watercolor paper into the mixture that has been created on the acrylic plate. Now once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna set that aside. I don't wanna waste what I have on this plate, so I am going to um, put it onto some under paper so it gets used. And then I'm going to go ahead and dry the surface of this paper. Now for the most part I've got that dry of a couple spots on there that are still wet. I am just taking a dry cloth and dabbing up the excess moisture and it makes a nice little mark on the surface of that paper. So I'm going to come in with my mister. I'm going to add that water and spray it right into my hand and splatter it onto the surface of, of this paper. And I'm going to just let it kind of marinate there for a few minutes before I then come back in again with a dry cloth and pull up the excess moisture. And since the Distress Sprays are water soluble, they are going to um, reconstitute what has already been put down onto the page and dried make it wet again and then when I come in with that dry cloth it's going to absorb those areas so we get some nice speckle going onto the surface. And now that I've got that dried I am now going to go in with an oxide ink pad in Hickory Smoke putting that on that acrylic plate, adding a small amount of water, and then again, dipping that paper into it. And as you see me pull up, you can notice it really doesn't look like there's anything on there. But once that gets dried, you'll see. So I've dried that and there's a little excess wet on it. Again, with a dry cloth, I am pulling that up. Now that that background is dry, I'm coming in with my paper artsy infusions in both Rocky Road and Rusty Hinge. So I'm going to add some water after I shake them out onto the acetate uh, plate, um, but I'm not gonna just spray it directly because those will fly off the plate. So I'm just spraying a little water into my hand and then sprinkling it down onto the plate and the powders. Once you kind of get it wet, you can go ahead and use your spray on it and it doesn't really push it around much. I'm going to move the water around to mix it together and then I'm going to come in with my second uh, infusion and get that sprinkled in there as well. 
So the first color was Rocky Road. The second color is Rusty Hinge, and you can definitely see the difference between the two. I wanted to use these together because I wanted more of that feel of the Rusty Hinge, but I didn't want it full impact. And now that I've got those colors mixed, I am again going to go ahead and dip my paper into the infusions on the plate. And because the Distress Oxides are water soluble, they will kind of um, mix in a little bit. Um, once I've done the amount that I feel is good, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a dry and then take a look at it at that point in time and see how I feel about it at that point. Again, there's going to be some liquid that's not quite dry. I'm gonna pull that up with a dry towel. And you can really see how those oxides kind of mixed with the infusions, kind of got woken up a little bit. We have some really dark areas from the effusions. So at this point I've decided I really want to go back into it again, but I'm going to use a little water and um, add it to the effusions that are already on the acrylic paint, just trying to bring that color back a little bit, not so strong, and use it in more speci specified areas on the card. So now I've got that dried again, a couple of wet areas again, coming in with a towel to clean that up. Now if I were to use a paper towel on this, if there's any design on the paper towel, it will show if I try and pull up whatever liquid's left on the front of that card. Just a heads up for you there. So now I'm gonna come in with a paper artsy uh, stamp. Now this is the HP 1501, it's a Hot Picks and it is absolutely lovely. It's one of my go-to favorites. And as you can see here, I am going in and stamping using some archival distress ink in ground espresso in some areas of the card. And then I'm going to be coming back in and doing some unusual stamping by just dipping that stamp pad, uh, the stamp itself, onto the liquid that's on the acrylic plate. Now, when I created this, I knew I was be gonna be using it as a postcard. So, I, but I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna finish the back. So I went ahead and started dipping the back into what was left of those infusions. And just to give it something for me to start with, but I wasn't quite sure at that point what I was going to be doing with it.
So now I've got that dry in the back, and so then I'm putting that uh, archival ink onto that stamp set again and dipping it right into the effusions and then applying it to the back of the card. This netted some really wonderful uh, images. Um, between the archival ink that was on there and the infusion mixing, it kind of bled a little bit, but it was re readable in some areas. It was just really fantastic. Because there's so much water soluble on here and I am going to be putting this into the mail, I want to make sure it all stays fixed, so I'm going over it with some fixative. I end up doing two coats of this fixative.